We had asked the Arubal member to sit down, please, and uh, to interrupt the English messengers. Feet and voice the sentiment of the people, sir. So I think it will be better if you allow me to submit a few submissions. Sir, if we go according to the Rule 28 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in this other house, it speaks about the language of the assembly. And here it speaks out very clearly that the business of the assembly shall be transacted in English. So through you, sir, may I inform the governor that Meghalaya is not a Hindi-speaking state. I would also like to remind each one of us that the people and the leaders of the state decided to part ways with Assam because the Assam government tried to impose Asmis as an official language. So, sir, I feel that we should not allow this to become a tradition in this August house. Sir, the government of India did not pay any heed to the demand of the state for inclusion of Gar, Kasi and Garo language in the HUDU, thereby depriving us and depriving us in various ways. So, sir, I want to appeal to you, sir, that the government should address us in the language we understand, sir. I don't want that we will proceed. We have to start shouting slogan if the government continue to address us in Hindi. I will allow uh, this house to, the governor will be addressing in Hindi. So I think we should. Sir, we take this. That is one exception to this. And we strongly condemn. We strongly condemn. This is against the sentiment of the people of the state, sir. Uh, Mr. As Speaker, party, sir. we truly represent the voice of the people, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir. This is where I think, in, on this issue, I